What's up? I got some family problems at home. My son's got some issues that he's going through, so. I just got a phone call that my son just went in the hospital with a thyroid problem. I just need to go back home and take care of that. To think about my son and not being there for him is definitely bugging me. You know, you, when you get your things straightened around, you can come back and... Definitely, I appreciate that. Oh, you my God. Fine. Thank you. Do what you gotta do, man. Don't worry about it. Thank you very much. I wish I could say this is a great place, but right now my head's not in it and I need to take care of my son, so... I definitely plan on coming back. Bill's a great guy, and this is a great school. Uh, I wish everybody the best of luck. Josh has a lot of talent. He's really a good kid, and I wish him all the best. Unfortunately, guys, I have some bad news today. As you can see, Josh is no longer here with us. He's left school this morning to be with his son, who has fallen ill. I know I speak for all of you when I say I wish he and his family well, but the class must go on. You've been here at Tattoo School for one week, so now it's time for your second assignment. Your first real live customer. It's my first tattoo on a person, and I'm scared to death. Today I'm bringing in customers who want a real common tattoo request, butterflies. Butterfly tattoos require precise shading to get the color right. So set up your stations, get ready, get set, roll. I view myself as overly cautious because I'm tattooing a real person and that's going to be on them forever. All right, ladies, here's your customers for your butterfly tattoo. Krista, you'll be working with Shane, and Kim, you'll be working with Mallory. You have three hours to consult, come up with a design, get that tattoo on the skin. Good luck. Which one do you like the most? I really like this one the most because I like how it flows and I want it to like flow down the arm. I like the shading in it too. It's very unique. Okay. I know I'm not going to destroy my person's skin because I have had a lot of practice with the tattoo machine, but for me, the worst thing that could happen is that my person won't like my tattoo. What inspired me was this butterfly right here. Okay. We don't want to do the exact same colors. I think I would like to change a few to like a pink and purple. All right, let's see what I can do with this. Line work is going to be very important to keep the puzzle pieces looking like puzzle pieces. I'm so worried that it's gonna look more like a caterpillar than a butterfly by the end of it. May have to go back over that line again, but we'll get to it now. Okay. I'm gonna wait till after. I'm just scared to put your the stuff on there and wipe over. That's what they do. Shane is very bossy, but I'm trying to be professional. Not that, that goes on afterwards. Put that stuff on your neck and kinda of wipe over it. Cleans it. So you can see. And then previous little over I would do this little swoop over here and there to there. Okay. And then work in this area, work in this direction. Okay. When I'm about to put the needle to her leg for the first time, I'm concentrating so hard, giving myself pep talks like, you can do this, don't you back down. I just imagine that line I need to make and make sure that it's in my head what I need to do. Crystal looks like she's having trouble with her shading. I need to step in. So I'm looking at this to try and imitate the shading in there best I can. You just go up near the line, it puts it in a little bit at a time, just run in and like you like on a melon or something. That's what's good about it. You can get effects on the skin you can't get anywhere else because the skin takes the ink uniquely. After Krista adds color, her tattoo should be fine. It always gets the black all done, right? Yeah. Everything. You rinse all that black out. Double the next darkest color, in this case purple. Okay. On. A teeny bit of black and the purple. The coloring of the tattoo is challenging, but I have to make sure that I'm not accidentally putting the wrong color in one of those puzzle pieces and ruin it. I think he's gonna come back. I wasn't nervous at first, but as it progressed. Okay, well we're gonna stop now. Just, just leave it like that, really. I think with the color, it would blend the shading in. No, we're gonna stop now. Okay. Hey, Bill. She doesn't want me to color it in. She's ready to go home. Okay, what's happening, ladies? Well, okay. she's ready to stop. She's a little concerned about the shading. What's your most concern? That the shading's not smooth enough? It's just the way the shading looks and the unevenness of the lines. Okay. So we're gonna stop. I stopped Krista from doing the tattoo because it wasn't progressing the way that it's supposed to be. It really looks like it came out of a cracker check box. I'm upset that she didn't give me time to straighten it out. I would have liked to have gone over it with the color to make it all blend in. 
tattoos are permanent, and minds can change in the middle of a tattoo, especially when an artist and client don't click. There's nothing else Krista could have done. All right, 20 minutes. Okay, Kim, time's up. Stop what you're doing. All right, it's time to check out your work. Krista, now your customer left. A little prematurely, if he asked me, and thing was going fine. But nevertheless, it's her arm, so if she didn't feel like continuing, that's on her. Krista's butterfly is pretty good for the first effort. This particular design has some long, curvy lines that are difficult to get straight. Most of the lines are clean without too many wiggles and the shading was coming together. She was gonna clean it up with her color blending, but her customer walked out before she had a chance. I know it's your first time, but you have experience with permanent makeup. I had to step in for you, and I was a little disappointed I had to do that, to be honest with you. If I want to tattoo artistically, 